So for the target market, we are supporting the placement in both dark room and also bright room. Dark room, uh, later on on the product tour, you can see in the dark room placement. If you want to enjoy a fully immersive home theater kind of cinematic experience, and the other one is in the bright room placement, like in your living room, your dining room, where you will have the uh, daytime ambient light. So you can go for our full series of this projector. So next, I will go ahead and over here. We have this EHLS one hundred. The lumen, the brightness is the highest, four thousand lumen brightness, and it's laser light source. So the contrast ratio go up to two point five million contrast. So it's the best that can place under ambient light in your living room. And it's ultra short throw, like Danny said just now. Yeah. So if you want, you if you have any budget constraint, right, you can go for our entry projector. The EHT W five six five zero with two thousand five hundred lumen brightness and EHT W six seven zero zero with three thousand lumen brightness that we also showcasing today over there at the product corner. Later on, you can touch and see it on your own. For dark room placement, we recommend EHT W seven four zero zero and also EHT W nine four zero zero, which is our hero model of the day that we recommend to put inside the dark room placement. So, because it has the high contrast ratio, and also we have these special features we call it HDR that give you like extremely vibrant sharpness and clarity picture. So these two are the new model. Okay. And so one pixel shifting technology, the resolution upgrade. To upscale your content from non Full HD to become a 4K content, and then for brightness wise, these two are the difference. 9400, the brightness is slightly higher, up to 2600 lumen brightness, and 74 is 2400 lumen. For contrast wise, 94 has a slightly higher contrast ratio, go up to 1.2 million to one contrast. 74 slightly lower, 200,000 contrast to one. 
and the HDR format is different. HDR10, both support HDR10, but 9400 support extra, like the hybrid log gamma, which is meaning for the live broadcast TV program, and also support 4K 60p HDR, like the Netflix 4K HDR content. Then they also support DCI color space. This is actually the color range that the projector can support. So for like those one chip DLP projector, they are supporting REC709 format, but our projector supporting DCI, which is whiter than the RECI on the HLG, hybrid log gamma, and also the 4K 60p HDR. For put your content into a movie format, but not stretching the content to become flat. So, but our 4K enhancement technology is not just about resolution. We also try to emphasize on other factors that are impacting our image quality. Like we have three times uh, brighter color that we support balance white and color brightness. And then the contrast, which they are 10. And also the ability to receive processing and project the 4K content. So in my next slide, I will explain more in details. So what makes us different from our competitor is that we are using this 3 LCD technology that leads, leads us in that let's say you have two HDMI source but you want to like preview it in a small screen on your source over here then uh, it's easier for you to select which source is that it supports the hybrid log gamma in the HDR format and also the 4K 60p HDR support for Netflix which is a parameter that allow you viewer to adjust the brightness and gradation for the increased accuracy of details. So our new features here is for the uh, commonly we use for Blu-ray disc and also the HLG for live broadcast TV like DVC and this is normally used for the 4K Netflix HDR content. Yeah. So later on on the product tour we will show you how we wait. So the pricing for TW9400 is 14,999 it's time to wait for the microphone to reach you before we begin asking your question. And rule number two, just kindly state your name as well as the publication that you are representing at the beginning of your question. So are we ready to start? Okay, so talking about this 4K port you see, right? Like I mentioned in my presentation just now, it's a uh, advanced pixel shifting technology, the resolution enhancement that going to upscale the content, not full HD content to a 4K content. So on top of this, what makes us special is that we are using the 3 LCD technology that bring us a balanced white and color brightness and also the HDR function that make us our 4K enhancement a total difference experience from our presentation that uh, the very entry level of our 5650 is only at sometimes we run special promo price at less than 4,000 really and this guy can scale up to 100 inches diagonally which a normal panel would not be able to do so right uh, it also comes with mirror cast uh, capability where you can directly from your smartphones uh, whenever you download your smartphone you can directly view over the projectors and sometimes I use this projector for my garden party as well, right? So I remember one garden party that I had, I, I put up a projector, which is a 5650, and I installed a mobile screen, you know, and I had a long HDMI cable from my Astro, and I broadcast uh, EPL uh, game, because all my friends are footballers, so they like to watch football games, and then they come to garden party, <coughs> put up a football game, it's a Saturday night, and uh, one of my friends walked over, uh, uh, he said, Oh, Daniel, this must have cost you uh, a ganjil. I said, No. 
感觉是一个空手的卡，好比说，到到底空手的那个地方啊，不如个感觉来。So so that was that. Did you go to about thirty five, thirty six thousand, right? But no, I said the、uh, mobile screen is less than two hundred ringgit. The projector is only、uh, less than four thousand ringgit. So he was stuck. So actually, a lot of people didn't know about it, right? And the fact is that you can、uh, have the mobility opportunity to bring it anywhere, any part of the house. You know,、uh, imagine you have a seventy-five inch flat screen TV.、Uh, you're going to once you install it on the wall, you cannot be putting it down, bring it to the garden, and anywhere else. So that's the other challenge that we have.、Uh, so this is how things are, and with the growth, it actually does support that. Uh, it is not a、uh, market that is shrinking. It is definitely growing,、uh, especially when users are more aware of the、uh, advantages、uh, of having home projectors rather than just flat panels. I hope I answered you. Please also mention in the presentation that、uh, the very entry level of our fifty six fifty is only at sometimes we run special promo price at less than four thousand ringgit, and this guy can scale up to hundred inches diagonally. Which a normal panel would not be able to do so, right?、Uh, it also comes with mirrorless、uh, capability where you can directly from your smartphones,、uh, whatever you download your smartphone, you can directly view over the projectors. And sometimes I use this projector for my garden party as well, right? So I remember one garden party that I had, I, I put up a projector, which is a five six five zero, and I install a mobile screen, you know. And I had a long HDMI cable from my Astro, and I broadcast、uh, EPL、uh, game because all my friends are footballers, so they like to watch football games. And then they come to garden party, put up the football game as a Saturday night. And、uh, one of my friend walked over.、Uh, he said, "Oh, Danny, this must have cost you a a hundred." I said, "No." I'm sure it's in the cost of the car, not because not not the cost of the animal. Blue blue kind of right. So so that was that. It's equivalent to what thirty five, thirty six thousand, right? But no, I said the、uh, mobile screen is less than two hundred ringgit. The projector is only、uh, less than four thousand ringgit. So he was stuck. So actually, a lot of people didn't know about it, right? And the fact is that you can、uh, have the mobility opportunity to bring it anywhere, any part of the house. You know,、uh, imagine you have a seventy-five inch flat screen TV.、Uh, you're going to once you install it on the wall, you cannot be putting it down, bringing it to the garden, and anywhere else. So that's the other challenge that we may have.、Uh, so this is how things are, and with the growth, it actually does support that.、Uh, it is not a、uh, market that is shrinking. It is definitely growing,、uh, especially when users are more aware of the、uh, advantages. Uh, of having home projectors rather than just flat panels. I hope I answer you so much. You know,、uh, of course, the other、uh, controlling factors are the lighting and stuff like that. But with the、uh, laser light source,、uh, with high brightness technology that we have today,、uh, light、uh, ambience light will not be、uh, so much of a challenge for us these days. But again, the、uh, screen is extremely important.、Uh, today, I, I don't know. I just want to give you a, a, a scenario. Where if you walk into a millionaire house, millionaire, so the owner is a millionaire. It's a big AV room, right? He has he has spent hundreds of thousands on sound system, AV system,、uh, and that includes of course the infrastructure of it. And then he will also have a big screen, right? And in most cases, this screen sometimes costs more than a projector. All right, that's for sure. Uh, and you realize that at the end of the day, the cost of projector is the cheapest among the whole setup. The screen, your AV and stuff like that. So actually, it is extremely, extremely uh, 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 affordable to have projector. But it's like what Dick has mentioned: it's extremely important to have good quality screen as well,、uh, so that you can really uh, uh, what you call project out the、uh, true quality image that you want.、Uh, and, and, But in terms of screen cost, it can vary from very.